The CM200 from Lightels is a fantastic tool for coffee roasteries and also other coffee businesses. It has two functions. One is it measures the color of your roasted coffee, but not only in an average value, but also in the distribution of the color all over the sample. And the other function is it measures the particle size of your ground coffee. Therefore, you can evaluate the settings and also the quality of your coffee grinder. If you are into the coffee business or coffee roasting business, you surely have seen these Lytels devices before. They are amongst the most popular devices for measuring the quality on coffee. And this CM200 is a device that has, as I said, two functions, which we are going to have a look at together. One is the measurement of the color of your roasted coffee. The other one is the particle size and the particle size distribution of your ground coffee. When it comes to the color meter function of the device, it can measure the color of your ground coffee as well as the color of your whole beans. It gives you the value in the Actron scale, in the SCA Gourmet scale, which is the scale that is the most popular within coffee roasting, so you can easily talk about the color of your coffee with other coffee businesses. What's a bit different from this device to many other color measurement devices is that it's not only giving you the average of the color in your sample, it gives you a distribution of the color of your sample. So for each color stage, darker to lighter, it shows you how many percent of the coffee beans or the ground particles are within that color scale. Therefore, you see the distribution and the evenness of the color in your roasted coffee. In the device, there is a memory which is saving 100 of these um, measured values. You have also the possibility to directly export that into an Excel. Therefore, you need a software which is coming with the device. The only thing I have to say to the software is it's only available for Windows PC. So it's not available for Mac or Linux. You need a Windows PC and then you can directly export the values into an Excel. Now to the other function, the Lytel CM200 can measure the particle size of your ground coffee. And also here, it doesn't only show you a, an average, it shows you the distribution. So from smaller to cursor in stages, it's showing you how evenly your grinder is working, how evenly the particle size is distributed and then also the average of the particle size. Also here, there are 100 of these values saved within the device and also here you can export it to the Excel. The machine is super simple to use. I'm going to show you how it's working, but before that, I'm going to show you what's coming with the device when you're ordering it. When you get the CM200, like all the Lytels devices, it's coming in a strong transportable case. It's also quite light to carry with you. If you open the case, everything is really nicely within this case. You see it's protected um, for transportation. It's coming with a manual. Of course, here, that's the first and most important thing to show you. That's the CM200. It has these little cups here for the samples of the coffee color. So you see there is a cup which has a little bit of deeper side. This is for the whole beans and has a bit of flatter side. This is for the ground coffee. When you get the machine, there will be two cups so you can prepare two samples. Then you will also get a spoon for the preparation of the samples. You get this ruler here. This is important to distribute the coffee for your sample. I'm going to show you right now how the sample is going to be prepared. And in addition to that, for the color measurement, you also get this calibration plate. Calibration is hardly ever needed, but when you need to do calibration, you take this little plate. I'm going to show you right now how this is going to be done. Then there is also a little key so that you can close this case. For the particle distribution, this one is the most important part because here you will put your sample and then here you will measure the particle sizes. You see here, there is a little white plate. Once this is dirty, 
you can replace it with another one. You get quite a lot of these white plates, take care of them. But if one of these is dirty, you can just replace it with a new one. When you're going to replace them, there are some screws that you will need to loose, loosen and therefore you have a little screwdriver that is coming with the um, light tails. And then here, two spoons, one replacement spoon. These are the spoons that you need to prepare the sample for the particle size distribution. And then here, a brush to clean everything. And in this box, there is the charger. It's a two pin charger that you can use anywhere in Europe. And also the cable for charging the device, but also for connecting to your computer with an USB. Once you want to transmit the values to your computer to get it into an Excel file. That's all. And now I'm going to show you how the device is working. Here I have a little button to turn on the Lightels CM200. And this will bring me into the menu of the device. I have here four steps. One is scale. This is for the color metering. One is particle. This is for the particle size measurement. Logger, here all the past measurements are being saved. And here are the settings. And the menu is working in that way that I have this little knob here to turn. And I can also press it. This is the enter button. Here I have an escape power and escape button and either I could now here in the menu choose the scale so the color metering or the particle metering or I have also this little orange button which I can use which makes it even a little bit quicker but I'm going to show you this in a second. First we go into the logger just for you to show I have the logs of the particle sizes where then I can just see the previous measurements. I always then see when it has been, like 7th of September, 1030. Then I see the distribution of the particles. I will show you this um, later when we are going into the particle measurement function. But just for you to know, here in this logger are all the measurements that I have done before. Now we go into the settings and here I can set date or time. So I can uh, put in the date and the time to have this in the device naming. This is something um, actually you're going to use the device to have a precise color measurement by values. Nevertheless, it also gives you um, some wording for the rows like light, dark, and here we have two different ways to name those samples. You can use the SCAA naming or just a common another way to name them. Not so super important. Here sieve style. This is then for your particle distribution measurement. You have different C's like ASTM, Tyler, or you can go on size. So we're going to choose size for example now. Bean selection is here. There you can then choose when you're doing the color metering. If you have whole bean or ground bean, you can preset this. And you have also the function to put it on auto mode. There the device will find out itself if it's ground coffee or whole beans. And actually this is working pretty well. So you can leave it just on auto. Once you realize that a measurement is really off the place, you can go here and then preset it to uh, ground coffee or whole beans. Reset to factory, that's just resetting the whole thing to factory settings. Power saving here you can put in on how, after how many minutes the device is switching on, off itself. You can disable this function, put 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes. And here you have the calibration. Calibration is hardly ever needed, but once you need to do calibration, you can just then take this little gray plate put the device on it, press here on calibration, enter, then you have to confirm that the gray plate is below and then the device is calibrating itself, just takes a couple of seconds and then it's done and it can go back. 
that's it. And now we are going to work with the machine. And firstly, we are going to prepare samples for a color measurement. So in the first step, I'm going to show you a sample of whole beans. Here, you see in this little cup, I have the deeper side and the flatter side. For the beans, I'm taking the deeper side so that they fit in. I distribute the beans here in this little cup. And now it's important that you do the sample always the same. So you should distribute the beans in a way that all of them are in the cup and none of them are then above the cup. So now they're, now they're evenly distributed and the sample is ready. So I can put the light tails on the sample, look that it's really properly on the sample. And now I could either in the menu go on this scale and press enter or I can just press this little orange button and it's measuring the color of my coffee. I see here, this is this uh, wording that we chosen before. So it tells me it's a medium light roast, it's whole bean. And here I see actually the value I wanted to measure. It's 62.8 Actron. And I can see then also here in this color scale where it's located. So it's a bit like a medium light as it's um, been naming it before. Here I see the distribution of the colors among the whole sample, but there is a nicer view for this by just pressing the enter button. And then here I can see the color measurement in steps of 20 in this case. So I see then the color 62.8 to 82.7. And I see that in this range, 35 of the beans are, are placed. 22 are a bit later in the, are a bit in the lighter range of 20 points. 24 are a bit in the darker range of 20 points. And like this, I see how evenly distributed the color of my beans are. What I usually do, just to make sure that I've measured properly and that the sample is prepared properly, I measure it three times by moving the device a little bit. And now I got this around 62.7, 62.8 for all the samples. So I can be sure that I made a nice measurement here. Next one we're preparing is the ground coffee. And here I take the little flatter side of this cup, just in order not to use that much of ground coffee. What's important, and I did this series and also in the video that I made for the light CM100 plus, is um, I showed there how the grounding of the coffee makes a big difference in the value the device is measuring. Therefore, you have to really be super consistent with the grind size that you have always the same grind size. Only if you're preparing it with the same grind size, then you will get also values that you can really compare. So be really careful with that. Everything else is super simple. Once you have your coffee and now I grinded it to a cupping grind size. I just put the coffee here. Then I take the ruler again. And then I make sure that it's evenly distributed. Like this. And now the sample is already ready. I put my CM200 on it, press on scale. Now it's measuring 81.3 Actron, it says very light. Also here I have the distribution. In that case, it shows the grading a little bit finer in steps of 10. So I see how the distribution of my coffee is when it comes to color. Put it like this again. Same value about 81.4. Third measurement, 81.5. So we are in an average of 81.4 Actron for this roast. Now let's do a particle size analysis. And for that, 
I need this part here. There you see I have a little white plate. On this plate I put my sample and uh, what Lighthouse is recommending is that you take the spoon and if you have very coarse coffee you take a whole spoon. If it's medium you take about half a spoon. If it's very fine you take about a quarter of a spoon. It just to make sure that you have on one hand enough particles on the plate but then also not too many because otherwise the memory could be a bit like overwhelmed and uh, the device would give you an error value. So once you cannot measure you might have most probably take a very fine coffee and then took too much of particles. If you have this error just take a bit less particles and then the machine is able to calculate everything properly. So I put here the samples, close it with the cup. Press here three times in order to distribute everything evenly. Put the light tails on it, look that it's really nicely closed. And now I'm pressing on particle. Particle measurement takes a little bit longer than color measurement. Now I see the distribution of the particles in their size. I see most of them are here in the range of 600 to 850. They are 37 percent and then I can see like uh, based on the scale how they are distributed. If I want to make now another uh, one or two measurements with this sample I can also do that. By pressing this button I enable the averaging function so I could for example just like take the same sample, distribute it again measure again and then it will get me an average just to make sure I did everything correctly with the sample and uh, I have a little bit a better quality of the measurement. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you want to know more about the CM200 like the price or any other information go to our website you find the link here there you find all this information. If you have any additional questions then always come back to me. I'm Ingo from Rose Travels and I look forward to hearing from you.